What's happening YouTube? Cowboy here and we're continuing on with more Dark Souls 2. So after making my way down from the boss, one of the first things I noticed is right there, there is an item, which is another charge for the Estus Flask. We haven't used it yet, but uh, when we make our way back to a bonfire, we will. I mean, I could run all the way back up to the other bonfire to use it, but that just seems silly. And uh, I really want to get this. But I feel like I fell through there before and died. So, with that in mind... Um, I'm thinking this might be like one of those things. Because that's the... Yeah, I don't think I can survive this. Because this is where I was like, look, pretty stuff. But I feel like I fell straight off the ledge before. Maybe if I... Maybe if I target it right, I can fall and, and live. I don't know. I don't want to die, but I'll try it. Yes! I survived! Haha! -ha. Okay, now I need to go very carefully. No! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh, man. Honestly, I think falling has to be like 50% of my deaths. It's, it's pretty absurd how many times I die from falling. But I want that shiny. I can't just leave it there. Ugh. All the way back up here. So I still have no idea what that NPC does. Took a quick look at Reddit to see if the other people that got early access saw anything and, uh... I don't know, pretty, I couldn't find any information on it, so figured, fuck it, I'm sure he he does something, um, just the way he's all super mysterious, I'm thinking he might be, uh, like a Covenant type member, because I know that's kind of the same general reaction I was getting from the guy that, that's the, uh, the Blue Sentinel guy, he was like, you are not worthy, blah, 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 so, hopefully after I end up, uh, you know, doing some, some PvP type stuff and getting some souls. I can go up and be like, look, look, I have goodies to offer. And she'll be like, yes, yes, I will talk to you now. Okay, so fall like this. Get back my souls. And I feel like I have to, to jump. That's the only thing. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, I don't think I can make it without jumping, but I don't want to roll off the ledge. So, I need to... Uh, I think I'm good here. Nope. Oh, oh, haha. Pharaoh's Lockstone. Fuck yes. And... Woo hoo hoo hoo. Anything else down here? Nope. Exploring secret areas. I oh, know that's right. I came from here before. I remember this. Uh, no, I don't. Maybe. Ah, don't poison me. Monastery charm, soul of a proud knight. Whoa. Giant butterfly. Can I kill it? I can! Ha! <laughs> oh man, it dropped an item too. How the fuck am I supposed to get that? Am I going mushroom hopping? Oh man. Well, that's kind of beat, because... It sounds like there's shit down below me too. I really got to get that fucking, um, that ring that'll let me survive bigger falls, because that mushroom... Actually, hang on. There's another path that goes up. Yeah, so I think if I take that upper path... Oh, look, there's another one. Souls! Um, just to check, there's really no way up there. Uh oh, that's. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could jump to that one. You know what? Fuck it. What do we got to lose? 7,000 souls? Yeah. What's up, bro? 
Oh god, no. I, I'm sorry. I want my my shield out. Oh no! Shitty. What a shitty way to die. But there's a dude down there. I knew I heard someone sloshing around in the fucking water. Huh. Honestly, I think I might be at the point where it's just time to call it a rest, because... Um, there we go. Let me put on that. There we go. That'll help. And the Ring of Binding, the one thing you guys just saw me put on, you actually get that pretty early on. Um, I would highly suggest using it, especially when you're exploring, like, on my way to kill the, uh... What's it called? The... What was this fucking name? The Lost Sinner, I think. Yeah, the, the Grand Soul. I basically just put this on, um, so even after dying, you know, bolts, because I was basically killing myself to farm. Like, I would run all the way down to the bottom, um, run over the elevator real fast, so it would start going back up, and then kill everything there, and then run back to where the elevator was at, and just jump in the water to kill myself. And then, you know, spawn, take the elevator down, make it go back up, kill everything again, and just pretty much did that, like, rinse and repeat type style, until that place was uh, devoid of all life to make it easier for me to accomplish. That's the other bonfire. Oh, you know what? I can't... Oh, no, I my I'm jumping down. Uh, Alright. Let me top off my health. I'll top it off as much as I can. Because mm, now I'm... Now I'm interested in this area and I want to want to explore it. Uh, all right, kill the butterfly thing again. Okay. So I got to get to that one. Okay. Hey, you. Stop. Stop all the running around. I'm right here. Stand still. He's like, oh, what the hell, man? I can't hit you. This ain't fair. This is not fair. I'm calling the developers. What am I doing? Like this. There we go. Alright, now he's dead. Need to get a little distance here. No! No! Oh. Damn it, the fact that that butterfly dropped something twice in a row makes me think that it was some sort of badass item that I want. And now, I'll never know. Ricard's rapier, huh? What is that? So many weapons. Cod's Rapier. Wow. A and 25 decks. Let's see how it looks. Ha ha! Stab, stab, stab! That's pretty sweet. What's the. I can't do the jump attack. Ah! It's raining poison. Stab stuff. Huh. Well, if I decide to do like a dex style build on playthrough 2, I know what I'm going to be using. And uh, there's my greatsword plus 5. You know what? I just wonder if maybe... Are these butterflies the ones that are making all the poison? Oh, and that one dropped stuff. Okay. Poison moss. Okay, so that's probably what that one is too. So I guess you can kill the butterflies to get poison moss, and without something to, I mean, I wish this was like South Park, you know, I could do the fart move, but open the door, but, um, yeah, I don't see a way out of here, which kind of makes me think maybe I wasn't supposed to come down here yet, so, um, note to self, if you're going to come down here, make sure your ass has a homeward bone, because otherwise, from the looks of it, you're, you're basically fucked, but we're not. 
Away we go to the bonfire. So, all in all, we got a cool rapier, got a, some poison resist things, and a nice little adventure we went on. Um, so we are going to... Let me see. Did I already... I don't think I upgraded the thing at... at or no, I don't need to go to my jeweler to do that. I just need to burn it. No, I didn't, what did I find? No, yeah, that's right. I don't need to go here. I just needed to burn it. It's one of those thingies, if I remember. I don't think I did it. Maybe I did. I don't know. I'm all over the place right now. Let me see. Yep, it's blind bone dust. Okay. Burn that. And that'll be Estus Flask plus four, I think. Okay. And... Bridge approach. Alright. So, with the... Uh, with the chariot down and the secret rapier found, it is time to head on over to the place that had all those freaking skeletons. I will defeat all enemies that come before me. Okay, just getting some items synced up, ready to go. You dead? You dead? I really love the greatsword. Like, I can't... I really can't praise it enough. I mean... It, I thought I saw something off in the distance. But, I mean, you have, you know, utterly ridiculous range for starters. Come here, buddy. On top of that, you have <clears throat> just, like, a giant sweeping cleave that can murder most enemies in a single, single fell swoop. It just absolutely shreds big guys like that. Like, look at that. The guy was like, he didn't even know what was hitting him. He was like, ah, charge. And my sword was like, nah, just, just die. Just die. All right, so if I remember, I gotta run up here. Yeah, we don't need you doing shit. More rogue armor, how cool. Back the fuck up, asshole. Trying to sneak up behind me? I don't play that shit. Alright, I believe it was right over here. And, uh, that should be the cave, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because that was a dead end when we went that way. So this is the only way remaining. And is it still lit in here? It is. All right, we're gonna wait for the the skeleton to come. Come here. No, oh fuck me! Did not want to use an Estus. I wanted to grab this. Ah, you're the one that's keeping these bastards alive, aren't you? And what is that status I'm getting? Is it like an undead status? I don't want to become undead. No thanks. I'm fine the way I am. Oh, what the fuck? It's something over there. It's like that pot. That pot, like, exudes darkness or some shit like that. Yeah, okay. Alright, we're getting this area down. And I wonder what that is. Is that, is that curse? Maybe? I don't know. Either way, fuck that. Um, so there's this way. Skeleton behind a gate. What's up, buddy? Looks like I can't play with you guys. Maybe later. And there was this path. Mm 
Did that one guy just sprint and jump off the cliff? This looks kind of like the way that I came from, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Huh. Yeah, because there's the entrance to the cave that had all the skeletons. What the hell? How did I not see that, that wooden ladder before? Well, no point in keeping our torch out. We're not in the dark cave full of skeletons anymore, so it's kind of pointless. Um, let's save the last life gem. I don't need to use an Estus flask just yet. Hang on now. Huh, yeah, I guess I just outright walked past it before. Huh, that's odd. I'm usually pretty good about not missing things. Oh, you dick. Why you gotta go shoot me with that? Oh, what other? Undead lockaway key. Awesome. And let me... I doubt it'll say anything, but I'm curious if... It'll be like, this is good for blah blah blah. Key to the prison in the Huntsman's Cops. The undead hunts during the reign of the old Iron King took place in the forest, and the cells in which the undead were held still stand there to this day. However, the march of time has eroded, blah blah blah. Very old and very good function. Remember that... Soldier key, house key, line grass key. What was antiquated key for? I don't even remember. I don't even remember when I picked it up, to be honest. Oh, what the fuck? Invaded by a dark spirit, merciless. Rowena? I guess the servers are up? Oh god. I'm not fighting this bitch right here on a fucking cliff ledge. Chase me. Chase me. It's fun. Better pop an Estus flask. That's yeah, definitely a person based on the way it's playing. Oh no, I did not want to do that. Oh man, our first invasion. Oh boy, nope. We gotta, we gotta run and use some shit. <laughs> Chase me, motherfucker. Chase me. <laughs> um, I don't know what to use here. This dude's like not sure, he's like, uh... Get poisoned, bitch! Get poisoned! Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, that was intense. So I'm not sure if that was an actual person or not, but um, either way, it got my heart pumping. I mean, based on the way it was playing, I would think that was a person. You know, it was like 
I was running back and forth, but it, it looked really fucking crazy. So if that was a person, my guess is that somebody modded their game to get that kind of shit. Because, like, I haven't seen anything that looks like that. So I don't know. I'll have to, to check out some other videos on YouTube to see. I mean, as far as I know, my knowledge was that when you're when you get, like, the invaded status, you're invaded. There's no, you know fake invasions so I don't know I mean there was that red phantom earlier when we uh, had approached the, the castle or whatever so it's not entirely out of the question but I just feel like it's unlikely I don't know actually you know what let me um here's what we'll do just to check we'll quit the game and we'll see if it's actually online now because to my knowledge, it was still in offline mode since the servers weren't live yet, but it is 10 o'clock, so maybe they decided to put the servers up? Let's see. Nope, nope. Cancel. 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 No, oh, damn it. I fucking selected my hard drive. Alright, so after quitting out real fast to look, I'm going to go ahead and say that that was not in fact a person, but instead some crazy AI. Um, well, for one, the servers are still offline for me just restarting and checking, and additionally I don't have anybody on my recent players list, so based on those two factors, I'm going to go ahead and say that that was not a person, which is unfortunate. It would have been pretty awesome if it was a person. I would have loved to you know, have my first real encounter happen and, and catch it on on, a, on recording. That would have made for some pretty awesome shit. Uh, and a bunch of skeletons. Oh, come on. You know what? Pretty sure I can, uh... moving bolt. Hmm. Just gonna use that bad boy. My great sword's almost broke too. Oh yeah, yeah. care of that bitch. Ah, yes. Everything is much better lit now. Am 
might as well finish exploring these caves. And then uh, following that, I'll probably wrap up this episode simply because ooh, combustion and a Titanite Shard. What is combustion? It sounds like it's something awesome. Combustion. At least it's flame in front of the caster. Cool. I'll have to try that out at the next bonfire I get, see what it looks like. But yes, as much as I'd love to go through the mist and fight what's potentially another boss. Um, oh, okay, I see. It's a shortcut. Awesome. All right. Well, that's nice. But as I was saying, trying to go and fight another boss while having absolutely no healing items left, no... You know, no knife gems, no Estus flasks. That's just asinine, you know? And oh, I thought he was dancing for a second. So for now, we will run on back to the bonfire, hang out there, and, and, oh, where did you come from? Thought I killed all the enemies around here, I guess not. Um, God, I want to... Oh, fuck yes! Undead lock wake key unlocks this. That is sweet. Bonfire lit. Fuck yeah. Alright. Well, you know what? With the bonfire right there, maybe we could take... We'll take a first whack at this boss. Um, see Who what this guy you? does. I thought you are that bastard. You've sent me for it. The cheeky prick. I am Creighton. The mirror. I've heard cool. this land was full of dank. I joined forces with a man on the way. He took the first chance here. I decided to set a trap for him here. I can't believe that I was so dead. You be careful of him. Pint, I think he said. Mm -hmm. Where's this rather unusual ring? You know, I've seen his type before. He kills entirely for the pleasure. That's of him. funny, because I killed Pete. I'm sure I won't be his last victim. He's a slick talker. Pint, the man with a sh and don't you believe I'll find the common for bad. Fist pump? Pate. And don't you believe Fuck I'll yeah. We can says. fist pump now. See, I'll all these people the that are like, Cowboy, don't kill NPCs. That's right bad. Here. You see, obviously, Pate was an asshole. We just weren't up to a point yet where you guys knew he was an asshole, but all along, I knew he was an asshole. No, stay down. No, stay down. Huh. Oh, I guess there's no necromancer because I'm getting the souls off of them. Whatever, works for me. Should be a couple more, though. Do you want some of this? Come get some! Nice wooden shield, bro. Does nothing against me. So 16,000. I think that's actually enough souls for an upgrade. The grinding I did, I'm to like somewhere in the hundreds now. That's all I know. All right, so full Estus flasks. Not sure what we're getting into. Let's find out. Skeleton lords. Three? Three? Really? Oh, I'm so sick of fighting three bosses at once. At least these ones seem kind of dumb. Ow, that fire hurts. Ow, stop at the fire. Come on. Seriously, ass hound. Stop it. Oh, wow. Bunch of skeletons. Better use a flask here. You know what? Fuck this. I got a great sword. Who am I kidding? I'll wreck all of you bitches. Ow. 
Where's that other bitch? You. You look like the one that's summoning these guys. Let's, let's, how about we, we don't hit me with that? How about that? Why can't I get a jump attack on you? There we go. Execution. Pinwheels. This is nice. Wow. 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 That was the chumpiest boss I think I have ever fought. Like, that was so easy. I don't even feel like that should have been considered a boss. I mean, at the same time, I'm not really that surprised, though. Like, on a fight that involves just multiple mobs, having a great sword kind of gives you an advantage, I think. Um. Smash! Fuck your throne! Really? There's no other goodies down here? I was hoping there'd be something else. Damn. That was... That was disappointing. What's this way? Oh, nothing. Just... Oh, never mind. Ha! Ah. Ah, a lever. Down it goes. But with the cave full of magical skeletons beaten, and on top of that, the AI invader beaten, and with the skeleton lords beaten, we are going to call this one here. So... Overall, I'd say this was a pretty good episode. Killed a AI invader, killed a boss, and killed a bunch of skeletons. So make sure to tune in for more Dark Souls 2, and we'll catch you guys with the next episode.